Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you can hear the birds outside. They are uh, mating or I don't know why they're making those sounds. I just got my wisdom teeth out. So if you think I look kind of puffier, that is why. I can still feel the holes in my mouth so I don't talk quite the same still. And I can't smile like too much as it hurts. As you've seen in the title of the video, I'm going to be partnering with Ulta Beauty to show you guys basically the makeup that I'm leaving in 2020 and what I'm bringing with me into 2021. We all know that 2020 was a whole mess of a year, but I did get a lot better at makeup this year, which is a good thing, I guess, because there was a lot of time at home. So I started like experimenting more or just like figuring out how I'd like to do my makeup. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've basically seen how like my makeup evolution has changed I think because I definitely think that I look pretty different now so to get all my goodies I actually placed an online order and then I just did a really easy pickup in store I'm honestly a huge fan of doing pickup in store because online it's much easier to like look for everything because you can just type it in and they give you like recommended products and stuff like that you can just order it and then when you pick it up it literally takes one minute Ulta Beauty literally has everything you could possibly need to refresh your beauty beauty stash this upcoming year. You guys need to do this. I actually went through all my makeup. I looked at all the expiration dates and I threw out what needed to be thrown out and then I bought new replacements for stuff. This little jar shows the date and it says 12 months. So that means that you can use this for 12 months after you open it. Okay, so let's get right down into business. Okay, so I am bare faced right now and I wanted to show you guys some of the new products that I've been using. I used to use this vitamin serum from like a pretty high end skincare brand, but I did not like it. It had like pumpkin in it too, so it made my skin really sticky and it was just not it. So I got this new one from Derma E and we are thriving with this one. They're cruelty free vegan. It's supposed to help improve uneven skin tone. Like as you can see, I have like some acne scars and stuff like that. I feel like this is helping fade it also this is my holy grail for my eyelashes people always ask me how I have such long eyelashes like especially for an Asian and this is the secret I started using it and it literally like changed how my face looked because I feel like now I just have more eyelash hair so it honestly looks almost like I'm wearing like eyeliner just because my eyes are like darker around it and it's kind of crazy how much just an eyelash serum has changed my whole look. And now let's get started on the makeup. This is my current beauty blender. She is very crusty. So I actually picked up some new ones. She just picked up a new concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape one and it's so famous, right? So I was like, I need to try this. Here she is. I actually had to guess what shade I was because I've never tried Tarte and stuff, but also online was actually really easy to figure out what shade I might be. Whoa, that is pretty damn good. Like this is one that I always use and then this is the shape tape. It's just slightly lighter, but honestly, like I don't mind if my concealer is lighter. I think I get why this is such a cult favorite now. It's really damn good. You don't have to try that hard to blend it because it's like more liquidy. So it just blends right in, but it also gives you that good coverage. Like as you can see, my under eyes just instantly lifted. So I always do concealer under my eyes and then I just go for anywhere have acne just cover those babies up i like that it doesn't dry too quickly because a problem i have is i had to do like literally one section and then immediately blend and then paint on the next section because it would just dry too fast so the base is all on oh my goodness i have to show you guys the best bronzing technique i found this on tiktok and it was oh life changing as you guys can see my face is very round i used to always put my bronzer right here you know like contour but i found out ah that's wrong don't do that you're supposed to put it like up here and it gives you like that more snatched look it's like you put it like right here ta-da my face is so much lifted up now and before when you put it here i feel like it just dragged down your cheek this is my newfound hack and we are bringing this baby into 2021 so now i use a liquid blush that i can just dot right on like that and i just want to use like only a little bit and i just put it like kind of higher up because that's what i learned on that tiktok to literally you can even put your blush like up here rosy vibe i am very happy and joyous and good Good vibes only. This is one of my new favorite, favorite products. And I need to show you. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. Okay, so I used to contour my nose with this thing. As you can see, she's a fatty. It's not that easy to like just draw the line on your nose. And like I tried using a brush, but I don't know. 
just wasn't really doing it for me and I was kind of frustrated because people be having their nose snatched and it looks so good when you contour your nose so I was just like why can't I do this but then I found this on TikTok once again because tic bro, TikTok's just mine for everything so what I do is I just color like this it's really easy to just draw a line right down it doesn't even have to be like super neat I try to connect it like to my eyebrow though because it looks more unnatural. There you have it. That's my nose contour. Do you see how that easy that is? Like you just go I have this nice like small angled brush which is really good for contouring. I also found that getting like a good brush is also very important. So now I just blend that baby all right in. I'm not very like precise with the lines but I found that it doesn't matter too much because you're gonna slap on the um, highlighter after. Do you see it? I feel like my nose already be looking a lot more snatched. Asian girls don't have nose bridges, but here I am building one for myself out of brown color. And then on the other side of the wonder stick is the highlighter. I just draw it down my nose like so. Then you do a little dot. And then when it catches light a certain way, people are just gonna think you have a nose bridge. So next I have Becca highlighter in champagne pop. This is also like a very much a cult favorite So I just put it on my cheekies like right there a little goes a long way And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my nose. So we really 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 want that nose bridge Next we're doing eyeshadow. So let's get up close and personal. I'm gonna be honest I've never really known what I was doing with eyeshadow but I just got the Maddie Ziegler palette. I feel like colors are really in now and especially going into the new year. You just gotta spice things up. Just like look at the packaging already. I love these so much because you can basically pick from like having some neutrals but then you also get some really colorful stuff too. I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm going to try my best. I'm just gonna start off with Angel. This looks like a good nice little base. Like I didn't have to dip it like a lot and there's already a lot of color that just comes right up. Now I'm gonna go in with Latte because it's like a more brownish color. I'm not that good at this so I'm just trying to keep it like pretty natural like just kind of darker on the outside. I'm gonna go for these colors now. Add a little bit more brown on the ends. I don't really know what I'm doing with eyeshadow so I just tend to keep it closer to the natural side. I know it's not that noticeable, but it kind of just makes a little bit of a subtle difference. Next is eyeliner, which is literally my favorite thing in the world. I started off wearing eyeliner only in the liquid form. For me, they're hard to control. They dry too fast sometimes, but I got this cream eyeliner. It's the Maybelline Master Kajal, and it literally changed my life. So when I do my eyeliner, I just kind of make the wing as the same as like where my bottom lash line would go up. I start with raising my eyebrows all the way up, and then I'll also drop it just to see, because you see the line gets like flatter when you drop your eyes. So I just kind of like toggle back and forth when I do it. Then you just kind of figure out how long you want it. The good thing about this eyeliner, it's so like low stress, because look, if it's not sharp, you just use your fingernail and just kind of like sharpen it out. Ta-da! And then I don't draw this inside part anymore because I found that it actually makes my eyes look almost like smaller. Definitely with eyeliner, it just takes a lot of practice. As you can see, using a cream eyeliner does help the process because you can just kind of use your fingernails and fix up the wing if you need help. And then you just kind of try to match up each side, but remember that your eyeliner they can just be sisters, just like the whole eyebrow thing, you know? Oh wait, I just realized I forgot to use finishing powder. So personally, I don't bake because I just don't really know how and I haven't figured that out. So I just put powder in my oily spots. Like as you can see, there's like a whole highlight over there. And as I put powder on, it goes away. Isn't that awesome? It was only till it was only recently that I started to use powder. It changes so much. Like it gets rid of all your oily bits and now I get why people use powder. So the very last step will be to curl my lashes and put on that mascara. So I'm just trying to be careful as I curl it so that I don't smudge my eyeliner, but I think I did smudge it a little bit, but I can just fix it with my fingers because it's cream based. This is my most favorite mascara in the entire world. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise. If you're someone who has lashes that always fall, 
I get the waterproof one because this literally just keeps it up all day I don't know how it does it but waterproof is the way to go another technique I learned is to actually not wiggle too much when you're at the base because it weighs down your eyes so just keep the mascara like towards like the top of your lashes do you see how long my eyelashes are like that's all lash serum then I'll literally just go in with my fingers to kind of Clump it. Also, one of the big reasons why I used to shy away from waterproof mascara was just because it's hard to remove. I highly recommend like oil cleansing bombs. Like if you're not using those, what are you doing? Makeup wipes are not it. I just picked up a big jar of the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing bomb, and you literally just like scoop it out, put it on, and it'll like literally melt away all your makeup and then you just rinse it off and it is amazing it even gets like stubborn waterproof mascara off and it's also much more environmentally friendly compared to wipes so i'm just gonna finish off this look with a lip crayon it's the just a tint from ColourPop, and it is in the color z boys it's somewhere in between like a tinted lip gloss and lipstick sort of thing but it's like kind of sheer it literally smells like mango and it smells so good and it's super moisturizing so it feels a lot better than a lipstick and that is the final look my new look that i'm bringing in to 2021 this is my new elevated look that i created and i'm bringing this into 2021 it's so rewarding to have finally like figured out how i like to do my makeup and what works for me so definitely don't be afraid to experiment try things out and scour the ulta beauty website look at their reviews they literally have everything when i say everything i mean everything i'll have everything that i mentioned linked down below so you guys can access it really easily thank you so much again to ulta for sponsoring today's video it was so much fun to get to film this video i hope that this tutorial was kind of helpful and like showing you what new products i got or what i'm not using anymore make sure to follow me on instagram right here as i love posting like fashion beauty and lifestyle stuff and you can stay connected on there i will see you guys in my next video bye